Boy, am I glad to see you. Why? What's the matter? It's Bernie and Mrs. Markham. You're not going to believe this. Oh, no. Gee, honey, you look kind of flush. You feel okay? Well, hello, Mary. Captain Delaney, what brings you here? He decided to come down and give us all the third degree. Really? About what? Oh, I think you know, Mrs. McKinnon. Would you please leave my mother alone? I don't know what you're talking about, Captain. I uh, haven't seen you much around here lately. Well, gosh, I've been here. You must have been around at the wrong time. Uh-huh. I understand you've been spending quite a bit of time at your apartment. Is that right? I live there. Where else would I spend time? Are you going to stop harassing my mother? Look, I'm just doing my job. And believe it or not, I'm trying to get to the truth. All you care about is trapping my father. Why don't you say what's on your mind, Delaney? By all means, um, if you have something to say. Oh, I have something to say. A neighbor of yours says she saw you in a car with a man. What? I see. I'm not allowed to go out with a man, is that it? Am I? Now, this neighbor couldn't be sure, of course, but... He did say the man looked an awful lot like Vince McKinnon. How dare you spy on me? Was it McKinnon? Huh? Have you been hiding your husband all along? No. Well, who was it in the car? That's none of your business. My business is catching a fugitive. Now, if I find out that you've been Don't hiding... Don't you dare threaten me. My father may be a fugitive, but he's no criminal. Cheryl, I'm talking to your mother. You should be talking to Reginald Love. He's the criminal. I'm going to prove it. Cheryl, honey. So, Mary, what you're saying is you've not heard from nor seen Vince McKinnon, huh? That's right. But then, if you've been having me follow so carefully, well, then I suppose you probably know that. Already. Captain, why don't you do something useful like catching that killer so we can all get to sleep at night? What's gotten into Cheryl? Ask the good captain here. Now, wait a minute, Maisie. I want to talk to you. Well, if it's about Vince... I, I gotta go warn Vince. The police might know more than Delaney's saying, so it's not safe anymore. I understand. I'll get him out of the apartment. Be very careful. Delaney might be having the building watched. Come Hey, have you seen Cheryl? She's in the kitchen. Thanks. What was that? Young love. Tell him about that field, don't you, Captain Delaney? God, I'm so worried uh, about Cheryl, you. Cheryl, I blew it. What? And I saw Bernie and Mrs. Markham at the airport. It was just like we said. They were hopping a plane to Colorado. Did you talk to them? No, they saw me and they took off like a shot. And the flight attendant wouldn't let me get on the plane to drag him off. I even tried to buy a ticket and they were sold out. You mean they're gone? Yes. Bernie was passed on the alibi. Oh, if I could just get my hands on that creep, Cheryl. So now what are we going to do? I don't know. I was so close. I was so close. Well, we have to find him, Scott. He's our only chance. We'll find him. Just give me a minute to think about it, okay? You know, Scott, we might have something else to worry about. What do you mean? Was Captain Delaney still in there when you came in? Yeah, he was with Maisie and Ada. Why? I think he's beginning to get suspicious. Well, has he been asking questions about Vince Not again? Not me, Mama. The way he was looking at it, it was like he was suspected something. But that's nothing new, is it? There's something else. What? The way Mama was looking at him when he was questioning her. She was all flustered, like, like she had something to hide. What do you mean? That doesn't make any sense. It does, if she knows where Pop is. Oh, come on, Cheryl. She would have told us that if she would have known. I don't know about that, Scott. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, well, I need that, that search warrant. I don't care what you've got to do to get it. Yeah, and look, put a man on that McKinnon apartment house. I want to find out who goes in and who comes out. Maybe we should go there and talk. Talk to who? By her mother? Well, if you do, you better tell her that withholding evidence is very serious. She's not doing that. You warn her that it's a crime. That's right, isn't it, Scott? By the way, I've got some questions I'd like to ask you. What kind of questions? Cheryl, honey, where's the fire?
Wanted me to stay. I did. I mean, I, I was. Everything has changed. Would you would, would you tell me what this is all about? It's Delaney. He's on to me. He's got to be. Why? Did he ask you more questions? No, that's the thing. He didn't ask me anything. He just told me practically flat out that he's suspicious of me. Maybe, maybe you're imagining. I think he's having me followed. Are you sure? I'm practically positive that he knows that you're here. I'm sure the next thing we're going to hear is the knocking of cops at the door. You just give me a break. You've been grilling me for half an hour. Just give me the answers I want. If I knew it, I would. Captain, why don't you go find Donna Hudson instead of picking on the kids? Why don't you stay out of this, Blake? Your lady's missing, a killer's on the loot, and all you police department can do is hassle the kids. I told you to stay out of this. Or would you prefer that I have a long talk with your parole officer? Look, why don't you call the Denver police, get Bernie and his girlfriend out here, and they'll clear up everything. Bernie and his girlfriend? Oh, yeah, MJ told me about your witnesses. Bernie is the guy who saw Vince walking his dog. He admitted it. Now, look, I don't buy that. I think this Bernie character is just a, a figment of the McKinnon's imagination. Now, wait a second. My dad's the guy who got stabbed. I'm going against him just by telling you this. You think I'd do that if this wasn't the truth? Yes, I think you would for Cheryl McKinnon. Bernie is Vince's alibi. All right, then you find him. Okay, fine. Now, can I go? Yeah, yeah, go on, go. I know where to find you if I need you. Wait, oh, hey, I'm all out of change. Can I use your phone again? I'm going to send you a bill. <laughs> yeah. There's Delaney. Have you got anything for me? Hey, some of this card. It's for Dave. You think it's too sexy? It can't be too sexy. <laughs> I hope he likes it. He'll love it. <laughs> you know, I've bought a Valentine's Day card for someone since I was eight years old. <laughs> you look look I you. told you, I've got to have that search warrant. Yes. Look, I'm expecting things to start popping around that McKinnon apartment house any time now. To my sweet sailor, Dave. Oh, my love. Maybe. X, 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 X. <laughs> Colorado. What? 
Scott went over to the airport to try to find them, but it was too late. Now we'll never find them. Well, we'll just, we'll, we'll think of something. Uh, honey, what you should do is you should go back to the restaurant and find Scott. Why? Well, because, uh, it, because we have to figure out what to do next. So just go find him, okay? Why are you trying to get rid of me? I'm not. I, we just have to, we have to know what's the right next thing to do. Mama, well, do you know where Pops is? No. No, I, of course not. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? Why can't you look at me, Mama? You do know something about Pops, don't you? Yeah, well, I won't I make you lie to your own daughter. <laughs> I can't believe it. Mom, the cops are... Hello, Scott. Are you going to turn me in? I love you. Oh, my beautiful babe. You are innocent, Pops, and we can prove it. Mom, no, we can't. You don't know how much I miss you, Pops. Uh, I am sorry I put you through all of this, baby. <laughs> Mom, what is he doing here? Shh. Don't you understand? Don't you realize he's wanted by the cops? Let him have a couple of minutes. We have some great news, Pops. We can prove that you're innocent. But I get the feeling that... No, no, no. You're not listening to me, Pops. We can prove that you never knew the night that was my love. Hello? Yes, Ada? What? Oh... Yeah, I, I will. Yeah, thank you. Would you do something for me? Please go downstairs and look for the police because they think they're on their way over here. Mom. Oh, I better get out of here. Wait a minute. Let's try and figure out some way that you don't walk right into their hands. Don't you realize you could be getting in trouble for this? I'm already in trouble. Then why are you doing it? Because this was sick and he needed him. This is not a time to stand here discussing this. Would you please go downstairs and do this? Okay, fine, fine. I'll wait for the cops. I'm telling you, we can't clear fence right now. We can't. What are you talking about? Scott and I found this witness. His name is Bernie Gladstone. He saw you walking, Prometheus, the same night that you were supposedly trying to stab Reginald Love. Yeah, but Scott feels that... No, 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 Pops. I can explain everything. You better do it quickly. Here comes the police car. This part of another world is...